How's it going folks? Hope you're all well out there. So I decided I'm gonna teach a few Kings of Leon songs. I haven't done a, I haven't done one in a while, so they're one of my favourite bands. They probably are my favourite band at the minute that's active, so I see I'm gonna go back to teaching a few of their songs after all their albums and that because they're fucking brilliant. So uh, the one I'm gonna teach you now is the bucket. And um I just had to go back over this song last night and remember how to play it properly and all, so I think I have it right. The way I'm doing it is like I'm gonna teach you the main chords that you can play the whole way through the song and then um there's like a little intro bit into the song. That bit there. But in the original recording there's like um I think there's three guitars playing to be honest. There's either two or three guitars playing in the actual recording of the song, so what I said was I'd take that bit and take the chords. And then like I'd use it, like I'd use that little bit there as a little intro to the song, play it once or twice and then go into that actual chords. So what I'm going to do is I'll show you that bit and then I'll show you the chords and then once you learn the song you can mess around with it yourself. There's other little bits to it as well that you can probably find yourself or try listen and find them yourself on the guitar. It's good. I'm always at it, trying to figure out how to play stuff and that. It's a bit of fun and it'll improve your hearing. Prove your sound for listening to the music and that, you know. And um, so I'll get cracking anyway. You're gonna need a D card in this for the whole way through that little intro riff. It's a D card. Here's your D card. So it's the your normal D card is the second fret of the high E, the third fret of the B, and the second fret of the G. And you strum it down from the D string. But when you're using it up here, you'll only be strumming the. You're on the fourteenth fret here with the high E. You're on the fourteenth fret, and you're going to be on the third, the fourteenth fret of the G, and you're going to be on the fifteenth fret of the B. So fourteenth high E, fourteenth G, and fifteenth B, and you're going to be strumming the three of them. Constant down strums like that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then what you're gonna have to do now, I'm just gonna let you know this is ha this is a bit difficult to do. This is this will be a little bit of a challenge for you, so but you will get it. If you keep trying it, you'll get it. So you're on the D card on the 14th fret. You're gonna go. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you're gonna put your pinky on the 17th fret of the high E. So one, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you're gonna put that on there. One, two, three, four. Take it off. One, two, three, four. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And on that fourth down strum, you're gonna slide it down here to the ninth fret of the low E, ninth fret of the G. And eighth fret of the B. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're gonna put your pinky then on the twelfth fret of the high E. Four strums like that. Then off and four strums again. Right, so right from the start, guys, we're on the fourteenth fret and we're on the D card. So 14 fret and you're gonna go all down strums. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then pinky on the 17th fret of the high E. One, two, three, four. Take it off. One, two, three, four. Slide it down to the ninth. You're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're gonna put it on the twelfth. One, two, three, four, twelve fret of the high E, take it off. One, two, three, four. Now you're gonna slide it down to the seventh fret. So you're gonna have your D card and you're gonna be on the seventh fret of the high E for this. Seventh fret of the G, eighth fret of the B, and you're gonna go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. So you're gonna go really fast, you're gonna go. Alright, so one, two. Three. 
Yeah, so the same thing. So it's going to be the very same. So you're going to go. Yeah, so sorry, I was a bit on the last chord. You're gonna, you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six. When you have your finger on, when you push in on this one on the high E, you're gonna push in on the ninth. So you're gonna go. And then back again. So after them, when you go back and go twice, then you're gonna go back to the start. Then to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, and then repeat it. Now, if this is confusing, if I'm confusing anyone with the way I'm teaching this, just rewind it back and watch again, and you'll definitely catch it. So right from the start of that, you're gonna be on the fourteenth fret. fret on to the 12th fret 7th fret and this time you're pushing on to the 9th fret of the high E so it's not as much of a stretch thing twice I'll go down to the D then and start playing so you're gonna be starting on the D card so that's the intro done guys I hope that was helpful and um, keep rewinding that back if you're getting stuck and go from where you know and then you'll catch up so we're gonna need three open cards for the, the card part of it and then it's not too bad so you're gonna your first card is gonna be D so you're gonna be on the second fret of the high E third fret of B and second fret of the G and you're going to strum this down from the D string and your, your strumming pattern is going to be pick so pick the, the bass note so say the D string in this you try to just hit that a little tap then pick down up up down up up down up up down up so pick down up up down up up down up down up. That's going to be your strumming pattern and it's going to be the same in all the chords. So on the D chord you're going to start off and you're going to go pick, down up, up, down up, up, down up, up, down up. You're going to do that twice I think so. One. Two. So yeah so each pick down up, up, down up, up, down up, up, down up is one of it so you're only going to do it once you're going to do that chord pattern once that, or that strumming pattern once with that chord so down up up down up up down up then you're going to change to the A chord you're going to do it once on this as well so when you do this you're going to pick the from the A string down and you're going to do the very same picking pattern so you're going to hit kind of the A and D strings for your pick, so just for your bass notes, so pick, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, so right from the start, D, down, up, up, down, up, and then you're going to go to the G chord, and the very same thing. picking the low E and the A string kind of for your picking that so you're gonna go and for two beats 
on the G chord. So when you get to the G chord, you're going to do that strumming pattern twice. So here's the whole thing. So G. I play that whole cycle of chords once before it start to say if you go into the singing in the song you do that once and then go into the singing so when you come down from here straight to here and start and just play through them once down up up down up up down up up down up peak down up up down up up down up up down up and again two you do it twice on the G chord and then get into the singing and the singing will be the very same and it should be played you should play the whole cycle of chords twice I think when during the singing before the chorus so right from the start of the song, you're going to be playing this on its own, so you'll just play through the chords. Then the singing will start, so you're going through the chords the very same way. Second time through the cards. Now at this time, so at this time when you're coming into the chorus, when you're on the G card, he's gonna do it normally the first time. gonna go when you're going into the chorus you just lift your finger off the second fret of the A. Now I'm not sure if this is exactly the way they play it, this is just the way I kinda came up with playing it myself so I hope you are happy with it anyway. So um you come off there and just go so he goes so it's one strum then go to the A card one strum and then to the D again and pick down up, up down up, up down up, up down up, pick do it twice on the D so right from the start of the chorus when he goes into it so I'll go through the last bit of the verse so going through the chords Lift it off and go A. Then go to D for two. Then back again, do it once more. So you go. Then to A. And then back to D again. So you do it twice on D again. Now the third time you go into D, you go back into the verse of the song. So I hope that was um, helpful now. That, that's the way it'll keep cycling. So you'll go through the chord, the chord pattern and the strumming pattern. You'll do the whole thing twice and then into the chorus. Second time, A, then one, two, I'm back to the second verse here now. So it just keeps going like that then. So I hope that lesson was helpful for you guys and um, like and subscribe with loads more lessons to come and chat to you soon. 
Right guys, here's just a quick video showing the right hand how I'm playing this song, so this is right from the start. And use a plectrum for this if you want as well. Now went to the cards, so a D card. A card G card D card A card G card B card A card 